those um, who would like to walk away. I'm not saying the US administration has decided to walk away, but those who walk, want to walk away or advocate to walk away, um, uh, uh, they will have to think about the larger issues. Uh, first of all, of course, yeah, it, there is then the uh, danger that um, Iran resumes its enrichment activity. There is a danger uh, then that there will be a nuclear arms race in the region and beyond. And, and that's very important and goes beyond the Iranian issue, that it weakens essentially the non-proliferation regime that we have established over the years. And last but not least, what kind of signal would this send to countries like North Korea? It would send a signal that diplomacy is not reliable, that um, you can't trust uh, diplomatic agreements. And that would affect, I believe, our credibility in the West when we are not honoring an agreement that Iran has not violated. So, um, you know, let me say two sentences more. Those who advocate walking away from this agreement, I'm not saying that this administration has decided to walk away, but there are people in this country, interesting enough, not in our countries, uh, there is no challenge in as I, if I am correct, in our respective countries to this agreement, it's just the U.S. Um, for historic reasons, a U.S. phenomenon. But those who advocate to walk away from this agreement have to come up with an alternative how uh, to prevent, in a peaceful way, uh, a, a resuming of um, Iranian nuclear uh, capabilities um, and military capabilities. And those who advocate to renegotiate it, and there are some who do, have to make a case whether renegotiation is possible and whether renegotiation will deliver better results. And I think uh, that is yet to prove. We don't think it will be possible to renegotiate it, and, and we believe there is no practical, peaceful alternative uh, to this deal.